What is going on you guys and welcome back to another update here on the Sergeant Tank YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, do me a favor, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, like and share. With that being said, let's get to it. All right, so first order of business is here. These are your Zyvulfurus maculatus. It's a variant of your gold leopard platy. They are quite rare. So these guys are available on the website. Definitely head on over and check them out. They're not gonna last long. I've already sold quite a few and uh, just absolutely stunning variations in color I was able to obtain uh, from this specific genetic line. So it's absolutely just a phenomenal outcome. I'm very excited with it. And of course, we'll continue to, to breed these guys. On to the next order of business here. We have your Blue Galeris killifish. I will do an in-depth video in the future on breeding and so forth of these guys. Absolutely stunning. You see the male there. Uh, these guys do get larger uh, as far as the killifish, especially the males. Uh, could almost push up close to twice the size of what it currently is. Of course, video does not do it justice. Uh, you can see the male, obviously, the color, uh, colorful one there. Especially when he turns broadside, you can see those absolutely just stunning, stunning colors. You see the female there. Trying to be the center of attention. Of course, over here, talked about these guys lots and lots of times. You can go back in the Reptor videos. These are also available on the website. These are your Neocaridinia heteropoda carbon release. Absolutely, by far, one of my favorite uh, Neocaridina dwarf shrimp. Just absolutely stunning. Uh, to say the least. Check out everything on the website as far as a full breakdown in depth uh, on how to go about breeding, successful outcome, rearing and raising and so forth. All the requirements and everything you need are in the description section of the post over on the website. So you can definitely head on over there and check it out. We got uh, different variations of your uh, uh, Palmacia, the mystery snails. So you can definitely uh, head on over to the website if you guys are interested in some of those. The size that you guys would be obtaining are going to be closer to this size right here. And of course, all that inf information is laid out in the description of that listing over on the website. So we currently have available uh, your ivory, which is going to look uh, something similar to this. And of course, the gold right next to it. And we have Pelvichromus Nigerian Red Curbinsis. Um These guys are absolutely one of my favorite cribs. Uh, to say the least, and uh, there might even be fry back in there somewhere, so can't really see it right now. Of course, we have the albino on Sisters Placa. We don't have any albinos currently available, sold out of those on the website. So, as soon as pretty much I add them to the website, they do sell quite quickly. So, if you guys are interested in Sisters, the ones that you guys would be obtaining is going to be something close to this size here, three quarters to an inch in size. Just absolutely uh, stunning. So, that's your chocolate variant as we specify it here. We also have a couple of pairs left of uh, proven breeding pairs. These are your orange liar tail killifish. There's a male broadside there, absolutely stunning. One of my favorite killifish. Uh, very easy to breed. A um, little bit uh, a little bit more time, of course, goes into rearing and raising the fry. We'll do an in-depth video after the aquatic experience, uh, so not until mid-November-ish. I should get a video out to you guys. Uh, just been extremely busy. You can see the female there. Um, the less colorful, of course, of the two. But yeah, you see the male chasing her around. I've already pulled eggs a couple of times off from that spawning mop. Talked a little bit about it. So the best thing you guys can do is go check out my videos as of recent and on live streams and so forth. And I might have some information that uh, I kind of uh, share with you guys. All right, so we're in the bigger of the three fish rooms here. Of course, we have the turtle tank. We talked about that before. We got the guppy tank with ancestrous and mystery snails in here. Uh, we have a uh, turtle tank in quarantine over here. Uh, of course, we have the, um, these are your black moor, fancy style goldfish. Those guys are pretty cool. We got some zebra danios up in here. And I know oftentimes individuals are asking, Jeremy, 
If you guys have been following the channel long enough, then you would know this. If you're new to the channel, uh, these are just your basic um, pot scrubbers, your plastic pot scrubbers. Nothing added to them. You can pick them up at your local dollar store, typically in a pack of like three or six, depending on the size. Those guys hold really good beneficial bacteria, not only for fry, not only for jump starting the nitrification cycle in a newly set up tank, uh, they also can act as a protection barrier in line of sight when you're introducing new fish. So a lot of different uh, uh, aspects to the reasons of which I use uh, pot scrubbers. Um, the biggest reason would be just the simple fact that it really does help jump the nitrogen cycle in a newly set up tank. Talked about that plenty of times in many, many different videos. You can see here we have your uh, Neocaridinia uh, dividi which is your cherry line of your dwarf shrimp. So these guys, uh, I do not have listed back on the website. Uh, trying to get the lines back up there. I've been doing a lot of uh, line breeding in order to get the best genetic lines and so forth. So it'll be a few months before I have any of these guys available. I know as soon as they get added, they're gonna fly off the website quite quickly. Uh, we have some uh, grouts and fry here of your Pulselia wingi. These are a type of endler. These guys are um, one of my favorite antlers. We'll look at the parents here in just a moment. We have the Mycogeophagus germ blue ram cichlids here, which I'll do a video on in the future as far as breeding of these guys as well. I've talked about it before. So these guys are absolutely uh, one of my favorite dwarf cichlids. Been breeding, keeping these guys for many, many years. So. All right, let's take a look here at those uh, Pocelia wing eye. These are your uh, rainbow endlers. So you can see here, you got the males, uh, colorful and smaller of the, uh, the group there. And of course we got the females. Uh, these guys are very easy to breed. Uh, just need a 10 gallon tank, get yourself a nice ratio, males to females, and uh, some spawning mops. Some natural uh, plants, sponge filter, uh, you can use or don't need to use substrate, it really doesn't matter. Provide the white water conditions and so forth just like you would anything else and they'll breed for you just like any live bearing species. These are the uh, parents to those uh, Xiphophorus maculatus, those gold leopard platys uh, back there. You can see in here just a sponge filter running, spawning mops, bare bottom tank, do your weekly water changes to keep up with it. Those guys will breed. More cherry shrimp in here. Got some ram's horn snails, mystery snails. We have your uh, paradise fish down here. Got a breeding group. These guys are really um, stunning, absolutely uh, awesome. We also have the uh, Celestial Pearl Daniels over on the website. These guys are not going to last very long, uh, especially as soon as this video comes out. Uh, I know that they're gonna go quite quickly, so you can head on over to the website and check it out. You can see a couple of them right back there. I keep these guys with guppies, kind of act as a dither and get these guys out active. I know oftentimes I hear folks mention, my CPDs or Celestial Pearl Danios are never active. I can never see them. Throw some guppies in there. They do just completely fine. These guys are actually breeding in this tank. You can see one of the guppy fries right down here. About a spawning mop. Got a bunch of mystery snails in there. So yeah. We have uh, some of your black emperor tetras. I'm only gonna have six of these guys available depending on when you're seeing this. I know that these guys are gonna sell out fast. I have a group going out next week. Uh, so as far as the quantity that you see in there is not relevant to the inventory that's gonna be available on the website. So I got six going out next week. I should have six left. 
Uh, yeah, there's a dozen in here. So inventory levels, of course, will be available over on the website. So definitely head on over there and check it out if you are interested. We have the uh, Labidochromis. These are your electric yellow labs. Uh, this is uh, three different, um, basically uh, three different, four different spawns from, of course we have mom right there and then dad usually is hanging out, yep, right up here. Uh, these guys are not uh, available for sale. I'm really not doing much as far as breeding of the African cichlids anymore. Uh, kind of steered away from that, getting back to my roots, dealing more with uh, the Neocaridinia, your ancestors, plecos, uh, different types of uh, nano fish and so forth, dwarf cichlids. So, just um, takes up a lot of real estate, more or less. So, these, this is actually my own personal group that I'm going to be maintaining. Eventually, down the road, I'm going to do a nice large aquascape tank with these guys, a species only tank. It's going to look absolutely stunning, especially with a dark substrate, nice green. Uh, you know, all throughout the tank, it's gonna absolutely just pop. So, figure I'll show you guys though. I do have videos on how to go about breeding these guys, rearing and raising, pulling the fry from the mother, stripping the fry, and so forth. So, you can definitely head on over there and check it out in the Reptor videos after this is done if you like a little bit more information about that. All right, you guys, so you can see here, I've had some folks ask how those plants are doing from the last plant pack monthly plant pack from H2O Plants. You can definitely head on over there and check it out. These are your different variants of your Anubius. They are doing absolutely stunning. I have some Neocaridinia heteropoda in here. This is kind of acting as a, uh, as a uh, place of quarantine at this point in time uh, due to the amount of space and so forth that I have available. So uh, looking at the previous video, I did relocate these guys that are now in this tank. And uh, yeah, they're doing absolutely well and I'm very, very excited about them. So if you want more information as far as uh, different species of plants and so forth, you can definitely head on over and check out H2O Plants, which I'll post a link down in the description below. These are your Daisy's Rice Fish. I will do an in-depth video on breeding these guys. Uh, they, you, you do want to pull the eggs and so forth, but uh, you know, I do recommend starting out with a group. So as you guys can see here, she's actually holding right now. It's really stunning on how they actually uh, uh, will obtain and hold the eggs. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just not going to show up very good. So I will do a video down in the, in the future on these guys. I do have uh, a bunch right now that I'm raising up. So definitely be on the lookout if you guys are interested in these uh, Daisy's Rice Fish because these will be available in the future on the website. All right, you guys, so I hope that you enjoyed that update video. Uh, so yeah, all the information will be down in the description below, so feel free to go ahead and check it out. Like I said, I know a lot of this stuff isn't gonna last too long. Uh, most of the items that you've seen in the species of fish and so forth that we discussed here today in this video uh, are that of which are home breads. Uh, that is a big, big focus to me, is to ensure good, healthy, condition homebred species of fish and inverts definitely head on over there check it out place your order while they still last again we are only currently shipping mondays and tuesdays of livestock do remember the quarantine phase that we do go through in the detox and before shipment all the information i'm not going to discuss it here is available over in the shipping policies and procedures on the website so definitely make sure you guys are familiar with those check back off into the website not only for livestock but other dry goods and so forth and with that being said you guys make it a blessed rest of your day as always stay encouraged keep on keeping on happy fishing and we're going to talk to you right back here on the next one